Well, that wasn't enough. It did not work. So this is a much longer, more in-depth video talking about the ancient bronze sword that I recreated. I printed out this pattern on my Creality CR10, and the, for those of you who are interested, I printed it out at a layer height of 0.1 millimeters with an infill density of 30%. It took me roughly 25 hours to print all three pieces. If I could do it again, I would print it out at a, a infill density at about 45 to 50% because it needs to be really strong when it comes time to push the pattern into the sand. If I could print the pattern again, I would do it at a layer height of 0.06 millimeters instead of 0.1 millimeters. And that's because the higher resolution is, would definitely help out with the, uh, the cleanup that I had to do on the pattern. It would have taken a lot longer, but it would have been worth it. So I just glued these pieces together and I have to say the super glue is incredibly strong. I did not expect it to work this well. In fact, it's set up so quickly that I wasn't able to get this part aligned as perfectly as I would have liked. But I think I can uh, just sand it down and maybe put a little bit of Bondo in there. That'll fix it. But let me show you how strong this thing is. Set the microphone down. I can bend this, bend it all I want. Look at that. No problem. So I was I was a little concerned uh, with how well it will hold. I am no longer concerned, and I will be definitely using this in the future. All right, so I've primed and sanded this sword several times now, and there are a lot of lines that are just not coming out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill them up with a little bit of putty, 
If I don't get rid of these lines now, uh, they will show up in the final casting. This works. Whew, heavy. Well, that wasn't enough. It did not work. Too much venting. So what happened here is the bronze spilled out of the vents that I made. They're actually a little too large. I was worried that uh, the metal would travel all the way down here and solidify before it reached the, uh, the tip of the sword. So I over vented just to make sure that it would rush through the mold. And uh, unfortunately, that led to this one failing. But it did answer the question that it will, will it travel this far before solidifying? So let's dig it out here and see what it looks like. And I'm doing this because if I, if I separate what's the sand that is clean and unburnt, that it, it will uh, be much less work for me later on. So I'm going to do this a little bit more methodically than I usually do it. Because um, I'm going to turn around and cast this again right away. And in fact, I can see that there's nothing right here. So that means... That means the metal poured essentially all the way out of this mold. There's nothing in here, which is not what I expected to happen. It all poured out onto the floor. <laughs> Whoops. Wow. I expected at least some of the sort to be in here, um, but there's nothing in here. So I'm just going to Go ahead and do this again. Let's dig this part out and I'll show you what that looks like at least. Okay, so here's, here's our sword right there. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I would say that was not a success. Too vented, big time. So I've made a new mold, I vented it differently, hopefully this time it will work. If it doesn't work, I'm going to keep going until it does. People did this successfully. They didn't use sand, they used stone molds. But I know that this will work, hopefully this time it does. So when the bronze spilled out of the mold, it solidified on the gravel. So I'm reheating it and taking all the gravel off. So it's taking a little bit longer. Fortunately, the metal is so dense that all of this gravel rises to the top. Okay, round two, here we go.
That didn't work either. I think I'm underestimating the density of this metal. Rushing down the mold, there's a lot of force that comes out of the vent. And if you were watching, I mean that thing just came out like a like a spout, so gotta remake the mold. Okay, so this was a failure as well. I can see some cracking here in the mold, and also the sand is lifting up right here, which is interesting this was all flush when i made the mold and now it's popping up so that means it's probably pooling inside so i may have to put a board on here um, we'll see so i'm going to rip this open and see what happened all right so i got a tiny sword it ends here um, so this is what it looks like there are definite problems going on here um, this side is much fatter than this side the mold expanded and this is much heavier than it should be so i'm going to have to redesign the mold significantly all right so it's a new day i have a new mold made the difference here is i attached a board on top to try to contain the pressure inside i learned that there's hydraulic pressure going on and that's why the casting is puffing up I also made the vent hole smaller and I'm going to lay the mold down very flat as opposed to having it at a very steep angle. So that one appears to have been much more successful, but we won't know until we open it up. It's toasty. All right, let's crack this thing open and see what happens. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad for you guys. so I don't see any uh, it did not puff out at all not much maybe a tiny bit here maybe not necessarily though it may have puffed out just a tiny bit Whoa. man it's windy out here shit Well, I can see a lot of this coming out. The detail looks really good too. It's tempting just to reach in here and pull this out, but I know it's like a thousand degrees.
kind of like unearthing uh, dinosaur bones or something. Or maybe an ancient bronze sword. Yeah, I'm taking my time. I know the anticipation is killing me. And you guys, if you've made it this far in my failed casting videos. All right, <laughs> here we go. Looking good. Looking good. Oh yeah, handle looks good. I think we have a sword. Oh, that looks awesome. Man, this is this is definitely the best part. Oh yeah, this looks good. Man, I love it. There's a lot of work, you know, to get to this this stage. So, and uh, you know, a lot of people helped me out here. This isn't all just me learning. I was able to have access to, uh, you know, some some people that knew what they were talking about when it comes to this kind of thing. Okay, here we go. What does it look like? Well, I think that it worked perfectly. Yep, no problems at all. It's perfect. Looks good, not, too, not puffed out at all. Clean edges, no flashing here. My mold was excellently made if I do say so myself. Small amount of flashing, that's what that's called when uh, some of the metal seeps out, but there's very, very little. Um, I mean, that it worked really, really well. So yeah, we have a sword, awesome. Very cool, very, very cool. So I'm gonna cast a few more of these actually. One in aluminum bronze, maybe one in silicon bronze. Um, what else? What else is there? But yeah, all right, excellent. It's looking good, looking good. <laughs> Sweet.